Good morning, everyone. Well, we're in a bit of a strange sort of uh, stage because we're halfway between uh, the Ascension uh, and Pentecost. And uh, it, it, traditionally, people might still say, well, you know, Ascension should be Ascension Thursday. And there are parts of the world where they still do celebrate Ascension Thursday uh, as a holy day of obligation. Um, in, in another era, um, Ascension Thursday was a public holiday in South Africa. And so people were able to get to Mass. Um, and I think in most parts of the world, that is, uh, has, has fallen away. And so therefore, people had difficulty getting to Mass if it was a holy day of obligation. So therefore, the, uh, the feast is moved to Sunday, uh, as it was last week, uh, the passing su past Sunday. Um, and, and, it, and we sit now between those two, two Sundays, between Ascension and Pentecost. Um, so it's, it's an interesting sort of stage in terms of our liturgical year. We, we then revert back um, to uh, the Gospel of, of John, and we're in chapter 17 that we were working through last week, you might recall. And it's a continuation of the prayer of Jesus to the Father. And it is a time when it was just before he was arrested. Uh, if we look at the Gospel, we'll see that after this, uh, Jesus is arrested. There's no, uh, there's no real a ceremony or, if, or, or feature in terms of the Garden of Gethsemane and so forth in John's Gospel. Um, John is very much strict to the facts. And uh, Jesus got arrested um, very shortly afterwards in the Gospel of John. But Jesus prayed, he said, I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they belong to you. Jesus is not praying for the world. He's not praying for things, for stuff. He's praying for people. And he knows the difficulties that we're in. He knows that the, the wars, he knows about the politics, he knows about corruption and all of these things. But he's not praying for those, he's praying for the people. I'm praying for you. Remember what we said yesterday. I chose you, you did not choose me. But what a wonderful privilege to know that Jesus has actually chosen us. And now he presents us to the Father. And he says, Father, I want you to look after them. They belong to you. They are your children. Let's rejoice in that today and try to live up to it. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and we'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.